Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Bucket List Mom. My name is Elizabeth, and we have another fun day planned today. I'm hiding out in my room for just a second because it's quiet, and I can tell you kind of what we're planning to do. So we're doing a really fun day trip. We're going up north, and we're doing some scouting out of some camping spots because in about a month, we're going to go camping, and we want to pick the very best right spot for us. So we're actually going to go check out the spots and pick the best one instead of just kind of winging it and picking a random one from the website. So we're going to go up, we're going to look at the campgrounds, we're going to take a look at everything and plan that out. And then after that we're doing something else kind of fun. We're going up about an hour up north, we get to drive through some mountains and we're going up to Pace in Arizona and we're checking out something called the Tonto Natural Bridge up there. It's a really neat kind of bridge like rock structure and I think there's a waterfall that goes over it as well. And and that was one of my kind of summer bucket list things that I wanted to do a day trip up there with the kids and I'm a little bit kind of disappointed because um, it's closed right now in that they're redoing two of the observation decks and so they've closed all the hiking trails so we can't actually go enjoy it fully like we were hoping to be able to do we can't go down by the rock structure but there's two observation decks still open and so we can still go see it and check it out I think and they're offering a lot discounted like admission since everything is closed so we're gonna go check it out just so that we kind of know what to expect when we actually go get to do the full awesome day when everything opens up again which probably because it gets cooler up north that'll probably be next summer so we're going up there with my mom today and my kiddos and so we're taking this day trip we're gonna have a little picnic it's gonna be fun although I'm gonna be the one driving and so I probably won't be able to film quite as much while I drive but it's still gonna be a really awesome video if you would please give me a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and please do subscribe it really helps my channel grow I really appreciate it let's go have some fun all right so we switch vehicles and we are off who's ready Anybody excited? So we picked up Grandma. This is my mom. Her name Hi. is Karen. Hi. And we're going to go have a fun day. Let's do it. So we're stopping off for a second. We're somewhere called Rye, Arizona, which is a small little town area. We're almost to the campsite, maybe like 10 miles away, so that's cool. And we're stopping off here because my parents have a little pop-up camper that gets stored up here, but we get to um, use it when we go camping, so we're excited. And so um, we're just checking today to see if it's in good condition and everything's good with it. Since we're up here, we might as well check on it because it gets stored up here. So this is kind of fun, and we can't wait to use it when we go camping. So there it is, right? Right there getting stored it looks like it's good so we're gonna be going pretty soon on to the campground the girls are checking out what this funny looking thing is <laughs> what the heck? it's a purple minion <laughs> that's what we think <laughs> it looks like a purple minion so we yeah, have encountered yeah, an yeah, interesting yeah. predicament here it says campground closed We've just spent an hour and a half in the car, so we are feeling confused. So it looks like this campground truly is closed, which was really surprising to us um, due to COVID-19. And um, we can't get in this campground, and we don't know if it'll be open for when we want to come back in a month and pick out a spot. So we're kind of surprised because it didn't say that like on the website or anything. I had to like kind of search on the internet and go to a different website and it's it's definitely closed. So we are actually really close to a campsite and a lake called Woods Canyon Lake. And so we're going to go check that out, which is maybe even more exciting for, for our day because um, there's a really beautiful lake. They stock it with rainbow trout um, and you can fish there and stuff. And there's a whole campground. So we're going to go see if maybe we want to camp there instead. But at least we're going to check it out. We're going to do something around the lake for a little while and hopefully we'll find some picnic benches or something to eat some lunch because it's afternoon now it's 1 p.m. so we're getting kind of hungry we've been driving now for like two hours which is not as how far away it is supposed to be so I think that we've been taking a little bit longer than necessary so we'll be at the Woods Canyon Lake soon this is so pretty so we stopped somewhere else called Christopher Creek because it's only three miles down the road and I've never been there we wanted to see it and so we're exploring and checking this out. This is like a whole creek here that you can play in and it's got all the tall pines and so this is gonna be neat. I think we can stop and eat our lunch. Look at the blue jay feather I found. That's so pretty, it's blue. We stopped off at the bathroom. Everybody's arguing about who gets to go first and then we nominated grandma because it's creepy and we wanna make sure it's safe. <laughs> Mommy does not like to use outhouses. This is so fun, so there's like a whole 
tan spots everywhere. Look at these. Oh, I love the tall pines. It's so beautiful here. We are worried about a storm right here. I just heard thunder. We're worried we're gonna get rained on. We're worried and wondering if the Tonto Bridge is gonna work today because we're a little bit on a different path from it. So we have to like kind of backtrack and take a different road. Um, but we kind of want to be home before it gets dark. Um, and we're trying to figure out what to do about this rain because I don't want to drive through the mountains on the rain. There's mountains. Hi! We had to drive through mountains to get here and I don't want to do it in the rain. <laughs> My mom said she's not going to ride in the car even if I drive it. So I don't know. We're like, do we get a hotel? Is this going to be a crazy day? I don't know. We were planning on going back home. I even have dinner in the crock pot. So we have to get back home. It is so like peaceful here though. It's really relaxing. I really like this. It's just so peaceful and serene. You know what's really cool too is that um, Payson is only like an hour up north from Phoenix. So you go from Phoenix where we were driving and we showed you the Saguaros and everything, which is really sad. That was from the wildfires that I showed you guys when we did like our um, couples like weekend getaway and I was showing you guys the fires. Um, I'll link that video. But yeah, it um, all the Saguaros, the be our beautiful desert got burnt. And, um, but you go from seeing the Saguaros and then you drive like an hour, you drive through a few like kind of minor mountains and then all of a sudden you're here in these amazing pine trees, which is so fantastic. So this place is really, really cool. So the creek is right up here. I have some screaming kids it's about something about crawdads. What's happening? There's a bunch of crawdads and there's baby ones right here. Cool. So there's a crawdad right in there. See if we can make it move. Oh, he did move, but we couldn't really see him. You got some rocks? Yeah, I got this one. Daddy, Daddy, <laughs> There's big spiders Here that are go. brown. Ew. Here For some go. reason, we have an orange ball. <laughs> it came in the car. Now oh, yeah. it's out here. <laughs> I found a rock that looks like my shoes. I know you found a rock for me that looks like my shoes. Ooh, big thunder. Big straight down lightning. So we weren't sure about this place totally because we have the pop-up camper that we're gonna bring this time and it really is kind of more for tent camping. So we're trying to check out sites that could actually accommodate the pop-up camper. And we're thinking this one looks really great because we could pull back in there and it's got the fire pit area. And even though there's a fire ban right now, in this particular forest we can have um, a campfire in the designated spot there. So we got a picnic table and then back there you can see that lock box. That is where you have to put all your food overnight. You can't even leave your food in your camper because of bears. And so there's a lot of bear safety and stuff that you have to do. And so you have to lock up all your food right there. But then we're like right over here, we're really close to a bathroom. And right across the street, we're by like um, drinking water spot next to water. So this might actually be like a decent option right here. We might actually see if we can book it, although. So we were talking to a park ranger, which was really helpful. Um, so she was giving us, you know, like what sites might actually work and stuff and giving us information. But the Ponderosa campsite that we were hoping to go to today and check out is actually opening up. Today's a Wednesday. It's opening up next Monday or maybe next Wednesday. So next week it should be opening up. So we're a little soon to be able to pick out a spot in person, but we could make a reservation for kind of the middle of September, which is when we're thinking of going camping. So um, we might still pick that spot. What the difference is this one has a creek, which is neat for the kids to play in with the crawdads and everything and all the big tall pines. But the Ponderosa one also has, whoa, a feather just <laughs> flew by me. That was scary. Um, the Ponderosa one has tall pines also, but the campsites are a little bit bigger. And so you get just a little bit more privacy and a little bit more area to kind of run and play and have some fun. So we'll see. And we're trying to figure out if we're going to make it up to Woods Canyon Lake. There's a picnic spot right up this road and um, we have to pay to park there, but then we can sit in the um, picnic tables and eat our lunch real quick. And we're trying to see if we can avoid the storm, how we're going to do that. They last probably about an hour. So we'll probably ride out the storm and then drive home like after the storm. Um, she said you never know which direction it's heading so it's not like it'll just chase us back to Phoenix We're not sure um, which direction it's going But we shouldn't need to get like a whole hotel or anything like that because it's not gonna just like last all day and keep pouring 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 so um, We'll probably be up here through the duration of the storm But we're not sure if it's even gonna hit totally where we're at, but we're hearing some really big thunder um, so this is a really like big adventure today. We weren't um, planning on all this. We weren't sure what to expect, but this is turning out to be kind of a fun just being up north. Do you think we're gonna get rained on? No. You think we have time to eat our lunch? 
I know. <laughs> we got a car. Our car can protect us, right? Yeah. Eat yeah. It no. has officially started raining, you guys. I'm not sure if we are going to eat outside or not. We got a big bird up here that is crowing at us. Okay, we found another spot right here we like. Thinking maybe this one could work. It's got little stairs, and but there's just a lot more space right here. So this is really cool. I'm right back here back behind the trees is where the creek is down here so the kids could have access to playing in the creek right by our spot this is a great little spot i am so glad we came like up north first to pick something out so that we would know kind of what would work and that will make us have like a much better like weekend so this is really exciting okay we're officially stopping at the picnic area and we are gonna pay a ten dollar fee so we can sit at the picnic and eat what? Oh! Hello, what a beautiful little spot. This is so cute. I love this little place, you guys. This is so pretty. I'm trying to get um, some of the trees in there. Over here is really neat. So everybody left me. <laughs> I'm just sitting here relaxing. The girls are like exploring somewhere over here. I keep hearing big thunder, but no rain yet. So we got our whole like lunch time in, which is super fun and um, we're gonna go to Woods Canyon Lake now because we're gonna check out the campsite there. But then we're thinking we may not make it to the Tonto Natural Bridge today, which is kind of sad because that's been on my bucket list for about 10 years now and we're not gonna get to go do it. But we're gonna be back up here in a month and then we might go do it then. So we're gonna go check out the lake. So we made it to the Woods Canyon Lake area behind me. There's like this little red store. That's where the girls are right now. And then even more so back here is part of the lake so back there we're gonna go down to the parking lot down there and check out the lake in a second but we've got some big clouds kind of up that way but not over here over the lake so we're checking this place out there's lots of campgrounds like all around here and stuff um, it's kind of almost overwhelming to even try to pick a campsite and I think I like the other place better but that might fill up so I don't know we're gonna keep checking things out this is so fun we found the lake That looked like a pelican for a second. I it was so it was weird. Too. That was so neat. Here he's coming back. Look at him. What is that? I don't know. Is that a hawk? <laughs> so he's catching rocks. Oh, oh what'd you get? <laughs> it looks like you can rent stuff over here, little boats. I want to come back and rent one of these kayaks and go out on the lake. That looks like so much fun. Did it wiggle? See it. Adalia caught a fishy. It's too tiny. It's about a half inch long. Oh, there it is. You did catch a little fish. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow. Is, is he dead? Uh -huh. I thought he's him. dead. Oh, gosh. Oh. So we're stopping off at this Vista Overlook so we can show you guys. We're on top of the Mongolian Rim right here. And so there's all these neat outlooks and stuff, but both my mom and I are nervous we're just uh, we're just a little bit nervous of, like heights and everything and i'm having to drive on this road that drives like right next to it and we're stopping we're holding hands we're being calm and we're gonna look out so we can show you this awesome footage wow this no, truly is beautiful it's beautiful so wow. there it is down there starts the hill and the no. big downward no. downwardness no, what is oh it's so nerve-wracking oh so here's the road we came up on and all the road leading back. We left all our doors. This is so neat. Out. This is so pretty. I can't even believe how beautiful. I'm so glad we stopped. But yeah, it's definitely gets straight down pretty quick. All right, everybody. Well, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon and we have probably about an hour and 40 minutes into our drive to go back home to get back to our house. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up the video here because we just got a lot of driving and stuff to do that's not exciting and we're trying to beat this rain. So thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you would give me a big thumbs up, I would appreciate that. And please do subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye. We start to sail along these ocean waves. Nobody knows, nobody knows how to find us It's turning out to be a perfect day I just wanna leave our normal lives behind us So let's get lost out here No one else out here Find ourselves out